Hi to all. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about coal roll grain oriented steel. Okay, uh, we know steel that is silicon steels and uh, um, uh, different types of steels we are using uh, in transformers, generators, and motors uh, to making a magnetic circuit. Okay. Um, here there are two types of uh, uh, manufacturing in uh, steels one is hot roll grain oriented steel another is cold roll grain oriented steel hot roll uh, grain oriented steels uh, which is used for the motors okay and when you come for cold roll grain oriented steels uh, which is used for the transformers okay now see uh, cold roll grain oriented steel np goes the early inventor inventor of the cold roll grain oriented steels crgo steel manufacturing process in 1933 gave the idea of in his own words i have experimental evidence which leads me to believe that there is an apparent relation between the grain size and ductility of a specimen and its magnetic properties to improve the properties, magnetic property, we are going for cold roll grain oriented steel. This evidence shows that small uniform grains and high ductility accompany high permeability. If you want high permeability of the machines, we should go for cold roll grain oriented steels. Okay, uh, this idea led to revolution in the steel industry, leading to the production of high grade steels okay when you go for a high grade steels the efficiency of the machine will increase and that um, losses will be reduced to uh, to reduce the losses we are going for high grade steels based on the orientations on grain okay there are two types of uh, silicon steels are used okay grain oriented silicon steels go non grain oriented silicon steels gno okay in the coming sections, uh, we will discuss the GO steels. Uh, specifically, we will discuss cold roll grain oriented uh, silicon steel and its application. CR, GO, cold roll grain oriented. Okay, so first one. Okay, it is done to reduce the thickness of the steel in the range of 0.1 mm to 2 mm. Why we should go for very less thickness? Okay, in that, uh, uh, if you go for solid iron, what will happen that uh, eddy current okay eddy current which is a current which will opposes the uh, supply current and if you go for solid uh, size of the core what will happen the size of the current or the current that is eddy current value will be very high and so heat will be generated in the motor generator and transformer which will lead to Okay, uh, here it is done to reduce the thickness of the steel. Uh, it will know if you go for high thickness, uh, then that uh, eddy current will be more. To reduce that eddy current, we are going for uh, silicon steel stampling. Stampling is nothing but make the silicons will be very thin. Okay, it done uh, to reduce the thickness of the steel 0.1 mm to 2 mm, which cannot be achieved. Which cannot be are uh, uh, achieved with hot rolling during this process okay under carefully controlled conditions optimum magnetic characteristics are achieved in the direction of rolling this direction is also known as gauss texture okay which is the direction of ec magnetization in the rolling direction this can be shown in the figure below okay this is a okay figure for that um, the grain oriented steel is not used in rotating electrical machines i don't know uh, grain oriented machines is really used for transformers okay in which the magnetic field in the plane of sheet but the angle between the magnetic uh, field and the rolling direction keeps changing for this purpose non grain oriented silicon steel is used properties of um, crgo coal uh, rolled grain oriented steels okay high magnetic permeability okay uh, it becomes uh, easily a magnet uh, reduce magneto sections it will be uh, reduce the magneto sections in that uh, 
transformers okay that's this thing this crgo is mainly used in transformers okay high resistivity the resistivity of the machine the, of the uh, crgo will be high because of CR, uh, crgo method okay high stacking or laminating factor allow compact core design okay high stacking or laminating factor in the sense we can make very small or very thin uh, size of the uh, laminations also lamination in the sense making small small uh, size of the core okay low losses and when you go for this one the losses will be very less okay the hurley um, grade of crgo steel okay the hurley grade of steel were known as m7 that is 0.7 watts per lb at 1.5 ton per 60 years and m6 that is 0.6 uh, watts per lb at 1.5 ton per 60 hertz similarly m5 m4 and m3 grades were developed in the late 60s okay in the previous days the previous uh, years okay uh, this type of grades are manufactured a new material called high hb uh, high b has a remarkable degree of orientation at 2 to 3 grade better than conventional crgo steel products okay from for, from this this one that losses will be reduced uh, very uh, very much okay application of crgo silicon steel as transformer core um, i will tell you know crgo which is used for transformers and uh, hot coal hot roll coal oriented that one is used for um, motors and generators okay CRO, crgo grade steel mainly finds application as core material for power transformers and distribution transformers okay power transformers and distribution transformers heat will be generated more uh, because of uh, eddy currents to reduce the eddy current we are going for crgo based course when you go for crgo based course that uh, current eddy current value will be reduced uh, okay and less losses will be present when you go for crgo uh, based steels okay high magnetic permeability leads to low excitation current and lower inductions induction value should be less okay um, because this one we are using in transformers the induction uh, should not be more okay so low hysteresis and eddy current losses because we are going for very thin uh, of the size of the cores okay so because when we go for uh, very thin of the core automatically the eddy current losses will be reduced so low hysteresis and eddy current losses excellent amylation factors leads to better and compact designs and hence low material required so it's having more efficient this type of uh, crgo materials are having more efficient and uh, lamination is easily can be done so when you go for this one uh, excellent amylation factors leads to better and compact design and hence low material required high knee saturation car six so the uh, saturation car six also very high okay very low level of magnetostruction leads to noise reduction when you go for uh, crgo material the noise humming noise mm, that noise will be reduced because of uh, cold roll gain oriented silicon steels which will be used in transformers uh, enhance ease of finding to improve and productivity so when you go for crgo that uh, um, easily can winding in that uh, and improves productivity of the machine while there have been alternatives of the CRGO grades steel such as nickel, iron, uh, new metal, amorphous barman strips, super glass, etc. Still, CRGO steel is superior choice in the transformer industry. Alloy like the amorphous metal FE78, uh, B13, SI9 has shown to such much lesser core losses when used as the core of distribution transformer as compared to CRGO. GO, even though we are going for uh, CRGO because the cost of the um, CRGO will be less than compared with amorphous materials FE78 and then okay, uh, still can change the textures so that the achieve desirable magnetic properties when manufactured under control condition. So CRGO is relaxed party. Thank you.